2024. Good afternoon. You're just in time for NTV at one. And for the next 30 minutes, we take you across the country, beyond our borders, as well as into the sporting fields to update you on everything that is happening. My name is Ibrahim Karanja. Let's get started. And we begin in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, where Kenya's candidate for the Africa Union Commission chairperson has launched his bid to the continent, promising a raft of economic and special changes if elected in February. Raila has outlined 10 priority areas he seeks to uh, reform and implement if elected into the coveted office, ranging from economic transformation to regional security. NTV's David Mudoka begins our broadcast. With the 2025 African Union Commission chairperson election only three months away, Kenya's candidate in the continental contest, Raila Odinga, has officially launched his bid to the entire African continent at an event in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. <laughs> In the event organized by Kenya's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and held at the AU Multipurpose Hall, Raila unveiled his vision and priorities for Africa to the hundreds of representatives of Africa's member states present. Africa is the richest continent on the planet Earth. In terms of strategic raw materials that have made the other parts of the world rich, the paradox is that the richest in terms of resources is also the poorest in terms of living conditions of these people. This is what we need to change. Raila's priorities for the continent include accelerating economic transformation, enhancing intra-African trade and infrastructure, seeking financial independence and championing for gender equity and equality. Raila, further promising to steer agricultural transformation, advocate for climate action, harness youth potential, accelerate digital transformation, and beef up peace and security in the continent. Africa will not be developed by foreigners coming to Africa. The foreigners will come to invest, not to develop, but to make money. But ultimately, Africa will be better developed with, the, with the, the brains and energies of the African people. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Diaspora Affairs, which led the event, vouching for Raila as better suited to take over the reins in Addis and urging other African countries to support him. We know that the journey of emancipating Africa from economic domination is not a sprint, it is a marathon. The journey of empowering our women, the journey of realizing Agenda 2063 is not a sprint, it is a marathon. And I want to submit to us that Kenya might have one or two things to teach the continent with regard to marathons. And so we present to you a leader who's run the marathon. I therefore reassure you that Kenya is offering a lifelong Pan-Africanist, an accomplished global statesman who has demonstrated exceptional and visionary leadership. There's much that our continent can utilize from such an elaborate experience. Three other African leaders have thrown their heart in the ring for the position, among them Hamoud Ali Yusuf of Djibouti, Anil Gayan of Mauritius, and Richard Randia Mandrato of the islands of Madagascar. Of the three, Raila faces stiff competition from Djibouti's foreign minister, Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, and will have to fend him off to make his dream of relocating to Addis Ababa a reality. David Muthoka, NTV.